I have an update to my 3D printable mechanical keyboard switch design. The new design has just three parts. Uh, this is the stem, and as you can see, it's got a little bit of a lip on it, and that goes into the top cover here. And if you look closely, there's a bit, of, there's a little bit of a, a notch c cut out for this, and that's to keep it in alignment, but also. Um, it's really, it really be because I need to print this flat. <laughs> so that's really what it boils down to. Um, and to put it in the first time, you're going to have to press a little bit hard because of that notch. And the notch is just there to prevent it from, you know, when you pull the keycap out, this should stay in. And putting this part together is really straightforward. You see those little holes there and the little snaps? It should just snap together like this. You just line it up. It's hard to do it on the camera. Let me do it back up a little bit. There we go, and that's all there is to it. Now you've got a 3D printable keyboard switch, and it actually, wow, that feels really good. Right off the, right off the bed, I just took it out. Let me get a keycap put on there. All right, here we go, just a generic keycap. Now I haven't decided which way I'm gonna orient this yet, but it looks weird having that half, that semicircle there, but it should hold on nice and tight because it actually has negative tolerance on this thing. If I can, um, do this on camera. There we go. Yeah, nice and tight. There we go. And if I actually put something under here, sound dampener, a piece of TPU, you should be able to hear just how quiet this thing is. Got a little bit of string in my finger here. Basically, it doesn't make any noise at all.